Hey babies, it's what's up? How are you kids? So uh, we are going to start unit two today and the unit two is about volcanoes. Okay, so we talked a little bit about Pompeii and Mount Vesuvius, which is a volcano. And we know a little bit about the, the impact of volcanoes in the life of people, that they destroy everything, but also that there are people who live around the volcano areas because the soil around the volcanoes is fertile, so people can plant there, right? And also it, it's, uh, it attracts tourists, yes? Like in Pompeii, we have the Mount Vesuvius, so people go there to visit it, yeah? And other places as well, and that's what we are going to see. So, first of all, we have, in the page 26 and 27, we have this picture here. And what are the people doing in this picture? Uh, they are studying the map, yes? The world map to check the, the natural disasters, yes? Because with the technology, we can predict when an earthquake is going to happen, a tornado, and even a volcano, yes? So, we have a text, and yay! We would have a volcano class today, like we had the history class, where you almost slept, and now we have the volcano class, yay! Don't sleep, please! So, I'm gonna read the text and explain the things, and then we have the questions, okay? So, let's go. Uh, page 28, kids, everybody. Page 28. How do volcanoes affect people? Living with volcanoes. Volcanoes are exciting, but also destructive and uncontrollable. They shape our planet and affect our lives. That are about a thousand five hundred active volcanoes in the world. And many of them are under the ocean. 75% of the world's active volcanoes are situated in the ring of fire on the edge of the Pacific Ocean, and then there is a map. And approximately 5 million people live within the danger zone of a volcano. So, there are 1,500 1, volcanoes in the world, and uh, many of these volcanoes are under the sea. So imagine, uh, when we have an eruption in a, in a regular volcano, that's a mountain that we can see. We have the lava flowing, yes? And then it's already bad, bad. But imagine a volcano which is under the sea. So the, this is the volcano and this is the sea. When this volcano erupts, what can happen? Let's discover. And there is a specific area in the world uh, that's called Ring of Fire in the Pacific, Pacific Ocean where there is, the, there is a concentration of volcano and there are five, 500 million people living around this area of these volcanoes. Killer volcanoes. It's impossible to melt rock, isn't it? Hmm, not really. Volcanic lava is mountain rock. So the lava is made of melted rock, yeah? Uh, and its temperature can reach 1,200 Celsius. So, it can start fires as it flowers over homes and land. So, when the volcano erupts, the lavas um, go on the houses. And because it's very hot, it can start fire. Uh, burning ash from volcanoes covers fields and kills crops and huge clouds of it block the sunlight. So remember we talked about the ash of the volcano that are like gray stuff, yeah? So these things, 
they cover the sun so it can change the temperature and also it covers the fields imagine there is a field of corn so these ashes will cover the corn and it will kill the corn so we we can't eat that corn anymore and i'm giving the example of corn but it's for all the crops for all the plantations um Volcanic gases are poisonous and can kill people and animals because the volcano uh, releases a gas that's toxic. And in 1986, in Cameroon, Africa, carbon dioxide from Lake Neos, a volcanic crater, killed over 1,700 people and 300 animals. So... It happened in 1986. There was an eruption and only the gas, the, to the toxic gas from the volcanoes kill people, not the lava, yeah? And not the hot. Some scientists believe that the toxic volcanic gas was the cause, the, 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 the extinction of the dinosaur, was, that, was what caused the extinction of the dinosaur about six, five million years ago. So. We all know the theory that a big meteor fall on the earth, fell on the earth and killed the, the dinosaurs because this, uh, this meteor fell on the earth and all the, the land, the, the, the sand covered the, the sunlight and it made it cold and then there were no, there, there was no food, yes, because there were no plants anymore. But some scientists believe that it wasn't a meteor, a meteor who killed the dinosaurs, but the toxic gas from volcanoes. Yeah? Did you know that? I didn't know that. For me, it's, it's new. Let's continue. Are you sleeping? I hope not. Hmm. Record breakers. In Indonesia, there are approximately 130 active volcanoes and there have been some terrible disasters. The biggest one was the eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815, which is believed to have killed more than 90,000 people. So imagine, a, a, volcano, a volcano eruption killed 90,000 people. In 1883, Krakatoa erupted. Even though the island was uninhabited, estimates indicate that the eruption killed 36,000 people because of huge tsunamis that hit nearby islands when the volcano collapsed. So, the, the island where the Krakatoa was, there were no people living there. But because of the volcano, when the lava of the volcano hits the ocean very, very strong, it makes a tsunami. And this tsunami killed uh, 36,000 people. Uh, continuing. The deadliest volcanic disaster in the 20th century was the eruption of Mount Pili on the Caribbean island of Martinique in 1902. Hot gases and mudslides killed over three, sorry, 30,000 people who lived in Saint Pierre, a city located near the bottom of the mount. So uh, there was this eruption in in Carib in, in 1902 and hot gases, so made the people hot like in, in Pompeii. Remember because it got it it gets hot the. The hot air from the volcano makes the air hot and then the people get cooked because it's very, very hot. And also the mudslides. What's mudslide? It's cold. Uh, so imagine there is snow. And then when the, when the lava comes, it melts. So there is the, 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 the mud comes. Yeah, like here in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro, for example, when it rains a lot, and then there are, there are people who live near the near the, the, the places 
where it has some mud and then it, the mud goes and hits the houses yes so it's the same situation but because of volcanoes uh, not all bad that's the last, the last part of this first text volcanic ash is very fertile and good for growing plants as we already talked fruit and vegetables in indonesia people grow rice near volcanoes and in italy they grow grapes volcanic rocks such as basalt are useful building materials and sulfur dioxide a volcanic gas uh, is used in manufacturing in iceland people get heat and power from volcanic activity volcanoes are also popular with tourists kilauea in hawaii Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount Vesuvius in Italy are some of the world's most visited ones. So this part is about the good things about the volcanoes. That is, the land is fertile, uh, the things that came from volcanoes, the basalt and the sulfur dioxide are good as well, uh, are useful. And in Iceland they use it, uh, the heat of the volcano as a fount of energy yeah like here in brazil we have the water in itaipu in iceland they use the heat of the volcanoes and also uh the tourists the tourisms which attracts people which gives money for the countries uh and then we have the picture of the ring of fire in the pacific ocean that's the region where has where there is there are a lot of volcanoes okay very good so uh, that's the first part of the volcanoes unfortunately we can't talk about it I wish we were in the class and then you could give me uh, uh, you could answer questions and then we talk more about it so what we are going to do is continue that and uh, we have here in the page 29 this exercise here we have a picture of a volcano near the ocean and what's what we are going to do is to put the numbers because as i just said about the tsunami that's caused because of the volcano we are going to put the the num the situations in order to to learn how a tsunami happens because of a volcano so we have numbers one two three four and five and then we have the avalanche crashes into the sea what avalanche we need to, to find out a tsunami forms okay a tsunami we know it's in the ocean yeah so it's number five the tsunami the volcano erupts the volcano erupts the eruption we know it's on the top of the mountain so the volcano erupt is number two the blast causes an avalanche so the blast causes an avalanche so number three and then the magma rises under pressure so the magma is there in the center of the earth and then something happens and the magma rises and when the, ma the magma rises we have the eruption so the magma rises is number one and then we have the avalanche that is caused because of the of the eruption crashes into the sea is number four yeah so then we have the numbers here four five two three and one okay can you see it okay kids let's stop here because i know it's kind of boring only reading so we'll stop here and tomorrow we'll keep on talking about volcanoes if you want to google it a little bit more and to find out more things about volcanoes yes go ahead and take care, wash your hands, and bye-bye.